Okay, so welcome to the next video. In the last video we looked at how to put in some new fields. So we put in date of birth and we put in additional notes. And we also changed some of the, the field sizes, so how many characters we can put in for each of them. And one of the things we need to do when we're creating a database is ensure that when people put in new information or new data that it's accurate. What we're going to try and do is we're going to use something called the input mask to make sure that the data is accurate. Okay, and um, that'll ensure that when we put in date of birth, it'll always come in in a very specific form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here on the input mask. I'm going to save my table. It's going to ask me, so I'm going to click yes. I'm going to click yes. And what I'm going to do is this m input mask wizard will pop up. Now it's going to allow me to, or it's going to help me ensure that if someone's putting in some information, that'll come in the right order. So. It'll make sure that I put in a postcode right or a password or or um or a time or date. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and put in short date. I'm just gonna cancel for a moment. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked into date of birth, and then I'm gonna use the input mask. I'm gonna click onto that. And then I'm gonna ensure that it's a short date. Now what I can do is I can try it here. So if I click into try it, you can see that if I was to put the information into the database, it would come in in this form. Same happens for, for a short time or postcode. You can see that it will only let me to put it in in a very specific way. So what we're going to do is, because we're in date of birth, we're going to do short date. So what I'd like you to do is take a print screen of this. You may want to pa pause the video at this point. Okay, so hopefully at this point you've print screened it and you've labelled your print screen. If you haven't, please pause the video and go label your print screen. Okay, so hopefully you've labelled your print screen and you've taken a print screen of this. What we're going to do next, I'm going to click next and it'll allow us to, to change how, how we put in our input mask. Now that seems fine to me. We've got a space for the date or the day, the month and the year. Okay, I'm going to click next and click finish. And what's going to happen is that this character thing for input mask will pop open. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is at this point to take a print screen of this and explain well, what does the input mask do. Remember, the input mask will ensure that the data is going to go in accurately into the database. And if we go back here, it'll only come in in this kind of form. So you may want to f you may want to explain that at this point in your print screen. So you may want to pause the video at this point, take a print screen and label it. Okay, so hopefully you've labeled your print screen of input mask and explained how it works. The next thing we're going to do is we can use this input mask for different things. One that you might want to use it for is the postcode. So you may want to go to input mask and again use the wizard click save to put in a postcode. Now you may want to take a print screen of this again to show that this time you've used a postcode one like that. The only thing to be very careful about is that you've got the right number of cells in there. Okay, So hopefully we've covered what input mask is and how it works and why we use it. We use it so that the information we put into our database is accurate.